Have you ever wanted to go to Greece? If so, I think I've got an exciting opportunity for you. My name is Monica Hirschberger. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Music here at SUNY Geneseo, and I'm joined by Dr. Caitlin Kahalski, an assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics. Dr. Kahalski and I will be teaching two courses this summer. I'll be teaching Music 100, and she'll be teaching Math 104. And as you can see, these courses are sort of hybrid courses. They're both online and then on the ground in Athens, Greece. You'll spend two weeks taking the course of your choice online from July 20th to July 31st. And then you'll spend one week traveling abroad. We'll mainly be based in Athens. Um, and we'll take a few excursions outside of Athens as well. Uh, so one of the nice things about both of these courses is that they s uh, satisfy uh, part of the, the Gen Ed core. So Music 100 will satisfy one of your fine arts requirements, and Math 104 will satisfy the numerical uh, and symbolic reasoning. Uh, another nice thing about doing this study abroad opportunity is that with only being on the ground one week, it's a more affordable experience. Um, and that also means if you're uh, working over the summer and uh, are worried about getting time off of work to be able to do a study abroad experience, you're only asking for about a week off of work, so it's a little bit more manageable. Um, so if those are some of your concerns, either one of these courses might be a good option for you. So I'll be teaching Music 100, Music and Math in Ancient Greece. And in this course, we'll focus on the history of music in Ancient Greece and very quickly, we'll start to think about how the history of music intersects with other histories as well. Um, so very quickly, we'll really focus on the connections between music and math in ancient Greece. And I'm really excited about this element of the course because I think today in the 21st century, we often get very stuck inside our disciplinary bubbles. And this is really an opportunity to think cross-disciplinary and interdisciplinary. So if you're someone who enjoys looking for connections across different disciplines, I think this would be a great course for you. And Math 104 is mathematical ideas. Uh, and what we're going to explore here is, uh, you know, Greece is really uh, the birthplace of mathematics. And so we're going to look at some of the work of people like Euclid and Pythagoras. Um, and we're going to see the impact that they were having in ancient times. Um, and we'll also take a look at some modern uh, mathematical ideas being studied and how they connect back and actually have their roots in these um, ancient developments that, that the uh, Greeks were working on. Um, from time to time, we'll also take a look at, at those connections uh, between math and music in ancient times as well. So if you come to Athens, you'll stay in these apartments pictured here. These apartments are owned by Webster University. Um, and as you can see, they're in the heart of the city. It's a great location here within walking distance of a ton of museums, some great restaurants, coffee shops. Um, all of the apartments are equipped with kitchen facilities. Um, they're either air conditioned or equipped with fans, There's laundry facilities um, and internet access as well. So some of the excursions that we'll be doing while we're in Greece, uh, we'll be taking a, a, a guided tour uh, at the Acropolis. Acropolis. Uh, we'll be visiting the Museum of Heraclitan. Uh, this is actually an interactive museum that emphasizes the mathematical achievements uh, of ancient Greeks. And we'll be taking in a performance at the Greek National Opera. Uh, one of the excursions that we're actually most excited for is uh, a trip to the island of Samos. So Samos is actually where Pythagoras lived and worked. Uh, many of us know Pythagoras for his math mathematical contributions, particularly we're all pretty, uh, we've heard of at least, uh, the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and so we'll get to, to check out, you know, uh, again, uh, the place where uh, Pythagoras and the Pythagoreans were living and working during ancient times. And I'm really excited about this trip to, to Samos and, and to, to studying Pythagoras because even though today he's mostly remembered for his contributions uh, to mathematics, he's really important in terms of music history and, and the history of music theory in particular. Um, so he's an excellent example of how uh, the history of music and, and the history of mathematics are, are closely linked. 
So hopefully we piqued your interest. Uh, please email us if you have any questions. And please also check out Geneseo's uh, study abroad website. We hope you'll join us in Greece.